Okay, this tutorial is going to be a tutorial on RIP version 2 and the benefits of RIP version 2 versus RIP version 1. And I'm going to build it off of a network that I created in Packet Tracer on previous tutorial. Right now this network is working, right, because of static routes. So it's working because of static routes and not just static routes, summary routes. So we created uh, or I created all these um, summary routes to make this router work. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove these static routes and we're going to see if the if the network will work with RIP and it will probably fail. And so then we'll have to use RIP version 2 to make this network work. Um, and because RIP version 2 can support classless addressing or CIDR, CIDR, so what I'll do is I'll change this. This is going to be a packet tracer on RIP version 2. Okay, and benefits. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, and very quickly, I'm going to go into this router and I'll go to config and I'm just going to cheat here a little bit because it's quicker. I'll go to static and I'll highlight this static route. This is my summary route to everything and I'll hit remove. And you can see down here the command. It's actually just the commands pretty easy in global config mode. It's no IP route and then the route that you had in there. Right? So it's pretty easy. So I've just removed the static route from this router and I'll do the same thing over here. So I'll go in here, config, static, highlight, remove. Notice the no IP route command down here. And I'll go here and go to config static and I'll highlight this route and remove this uh, router um, over here had two routes so I've got to remove both of these static routes so I'm going to remove both of those okay so now the network is broken um, because we have no routes so hosts are not going to be able to ping outside of their network Okay, now we're going to configure it with RIP and it's probably not going to work because why? This network over here is 173.16.64 slash 23. That's not classful. RIP can only see the 173.16 slash 16 because it's, it, it functions off of classful subnet mask which would be slash 16 based on the IP address 173. So it's going to have a hard time differentiating these different networks because they've been subnetted uh, classlessly. But still, we'll give it a try and see what happens. So um, we'll start with this router right here. We've got a 209.165.201 network. All right, so we'll go here. And we'll do this from the command line, though. OK, and so I'm already in global config mode right here, which is fine. I'll exit out just to start from scratch here. All right, press return to get started. Okay, we do that. We type enable configure terminal. And now we're in global config mode. We'll say router rip. And then we give it the network. Network. And the network is 209.165.201. Zero, and hit enter. Right. So now I'll do a Control C or exit here. Right. And let's just take a look. Control C, and do a show. Run command. And you can see router rip, and there is our network. Right. Now the network is showing up as 209.165. 201.0. RIP thinks this is a slash 24 network when in fact you can tell that on the interface it's actually slash 30 so it's been subnetted uh, classlessly so that's particularly how RIP does not support this type of uh, these types of networks so we're going to go to this next router and we'll do the same thing go to the command line interface and we're already in global config mode so we'll just stay here router rip and then network and we're going to put in the networks now the networks are 
64.0, right? Then there's also the 66 network, right? And then there's the 71 network, right? So three networks that are attached. Okay, and I'll type exit and control C. And so once again, the 64 network, the 66 network, and the 71 network that are attached. Now, of course, if we do a show run and take a look at it, you'll see RIP only sees the one network. Okay, and last but not least, we'll do this. So we'll stay here in global config mode, router, RIP. Now I'm in uh, RIP configuration or router configuration mode, network, the 71 network, which is attached, right? And then we've got a, a few networks that we also have to put in, the 68 network, and the 69 network. Okay. And everything is set now. All of these three routers are running RIP. They're now exchanging routing updates or RIP updates with each other and they should be learning about the networks. So, and we should be able to ping across the networks. So let's see if we can ping this guy, 173.16.68.2, from this computer here. All right, if everything's working, we should be able to ping him. Let's go to Command Prompt. OK, and you can see here, destination host unreachable. We're not able to reach him, right? we can look in the routing table of this router to see what it's learned about. Okay, and you can see that it knows about its 64 and 66 network slash 23s because they're directly connected, right? C, C, right? C. It hasn't learned any RIP routes. Okay, even though RIP is running on the router. Right, show run. RIP is running, right? And over here on this router, you can see that RIP is running, right? And this router, we'll take a look, also has not learned about any RIP routes, right? So this network is not functioning at all. Well, why? They're all 173.16 networks, and um, RIP cannot differentiate all these classless networks, right? It's just having a hard time doing that. So let's see if we can fix this with RIP version 2. OK, here we go. So now what we'll do is we'll go back into this router. And router RIP. And we'll type in version 2. We're also going to put in a command here, no auto summary. All right. Do a control C and do a show run command. And you can see here version 2, the network, and no auto summary. That's good. Okay. It's just connected to one network. So now we'll do the same thing on this router. So we'll go here. version 2 and no tab completion here no auto summary I'll type end all right close that go to this router do the same thing whoops version 2 no auto summary Right, done. So now let's just make sure that this has all the networks that we need in it. 
well it still only sees the one network showing up here right um, but we did input all of the networks um, and not only that it's going to see this six these slash 24s which are not classful here 17316 is normally slash 16 so this is 173.16.68 slash 24. So since this is a not classful um, subnet mask, it RIP version 2 will figure it out based on the fact that these are connected to the router. So let's take a peek, see if it worked. All right, first of all, we'll go to this PC, and we'll see if we can ping across the network again. Okay, ping, and... And there's the reply. And as you can see, it can now communicate across the network because we're using RIP version 2 instead of RIP version 1. Let's look in this router and take a look at its routing table. There's a show IP route command for the routing table. You can see it's learned about two RIP routes to the 68 network and the 69 network, slash 24s, which is not classful, right? And you can see here it's administrative distance 120. That means it's RIP one hop away, right? It's completely learned about it. Over here, this router, same thing. Take a look. And it's learned about two RIP routes. And then over here, this router should have learned about quite, quite a few routes. So we'll go here. We'll do show IP route. And This router has not learned about any routes, and that's interesting. Okay, now this router has not learned about any RIP routes. Well, that's a problem, all right? If I put a host on here, we wouldn't be able to ping the host. So the question is, why hasn't this router learned about any RIP routes? And I think I know the answer. R1 here is connected to this interface, right? But if we look in the running configuration, you can see that I only told it about the 173.16 networks, which covered 173.16.64.66 66, and 173.16.71. I never put in network 209 right here, and this router has it connected. So if I want it to participate and send RIP routing updates out of this interface to this router, I need to put that in there. So let's do that right now. Conf T, right? Router RIP, right? We know it's already version 2. I don't even need to do that. But I can put in network 209.165.66. Two o one dot zero, okay, and now it's going to be good. So now, if I close this and I open up this router and I do a show P IP route command again, you see that now this router has learned indeed about the sixty four network, the sixty six network, the sixty eight network, the sixty nine network, and the seventy one network, as well as its connected route. And so now this router has learned about all of the other networks that are out there.